I'm going to tell you about our trip out to Joshua Tree in November 2020. Um, me and the guys went out there and Michael got on the laptop and said, I'm going to produce this album. We said, great, let's write 15 ideas. We wrote 40. We came out with uh, four songs from that trip, Take My Hand, Complete Mess, uh, easy for you to say, and one other I can't remember, but it was an amazing time for this band and we kind of got the core of the album that trip. Five Sauce Five is comprised of four guys trying to express the way they feel uh, in modern times, the way we've been living the past couple years, coming off the road, going into a global pandemic, and really dwelling on feelings and things that we are we wanted to express in this fifth album. So a lot of it is about elevating um, our band's energy and healing a lot of parts of us that, that didn't allow us to, to write the way we have. So we connected to our truer selves um, as lyricists and as fellow creatives. Um, it was an amazing process. This record was really, really different. I think that we were able to really, you know, express the way that we wanted to sound in a really articulate way and sort of with me kind of at the you know, at the computer or whatever, I was able to sort of, you know, we, we could funnel all of our ideas into this, you know, place of no judgment and kind of just like exploring and just creating stuff for fun and just trying to, you know, see what works and not have, you know, someone else involved was just a different experience. It was just um, something that we really, you know, could be really free. I think on this album, we really, especially with it just being the four of us that kicked the whole thing off, we really tapped into this um, like sincere childlike way of creating like Michael was talking about in his video. I don't know if I was before him or after him. But uh, we sort of just, I don't know, it feels like the first album but it doesn't sound like it. It has that sort of nostalgic feeling. Um, and I want people to, a lot of the lyrics in it are very free form and just like uh, very storyteller style. And yeah, I hope people, I don't know, learn a bit more about us from it. Uh, the funnest song for me to play live would be Blender. Um, a lot of this album actually has amazing uh, uh, rhythm parts, which is really cool for me and Ash to be able to play live. Um, and uh, I think it's probably just one of the best songs that we've created. Check it out. So there's a song called Haze which is my personal favorite. I love uh, what the rhythm section is doing. It's doing a weird Motown thing with a riff-based uh, songwriting style. Um, and the song kind of was pieced together in North Hollywood and at Michael's house. Um, and uh, it's just got this up-tempo kind of forward-thinking thing for our band that I really love. And I think it'll be a, find a, a really wonderful home uh, in our set list when we go out and tour this thing. The song Easy For You To Say was the first song that we came up with on our trip out to Joshua Tree that ended up making the album. There was this tiny, like, trash little organ that cost like $12, and um, it, had, it had a volume pedal on it. Someone started to play the beginning organ part of Easy For You To Say, and I basically just recorded while they were playing put it into time of, of like some type of tempo, you know, just that being the way that we were creating is we were really just like, you know, feeling super free. My song today will be Older. Um, this is a very different song on the album. It seems like it's a, quite an outlier and kind of the only true ballad on the album. And I love this song because when you write songs for a living, that's kind of your job you have like a bank of like unfinished songs and this one started as one of those things where I had totally forgotten about it and then it sort of just popped into my head like two, three years later um, and then obviously we took it in with the with the band and um, finished it off and it was just like an idea that I started with Sierra at home and it just sort of, I don't know, flourished into this beautiful ballad. All right, so that's it, our enhanced album. Thank you guys for being along with us in this journey. We hope you love the album, Five Sus Five. We'll see you later.